everybody and welcome back. Jeff's doing something today. I'm I'm just here to film and he's he's I kind of know what he's doing, but I don't know. He's he's going to do it all. <laughs> hey everybody. How are you doing? How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great wonderful day or having a great wonderful day. My buddy Josh we got a swarm of bees that he had in his tree. He said, hey, you want some bees? I was like, sure. You know, hey, always have more. So. It was a small swarm. It was a small swarm. Not, not like this. It's an old nuke box. And, you know, he needs his box back. Box back. Of course, the box I have is originally the box he gave me last year. So. Sure. Um, but he told me that you know, we, we melted our, our wax out there, then we boiled it up. To get all the funk get, off. get more of the funk and any honey that might still be left in it and things like that. And then he told me, just grab me like a little roller. Well, you boiled it, then let it solidify. Well, yeah, let it solidify. And then melted it back down. And then I put it in one of those little electric skillets. He, that's what he says he uses. And he uses a little foam roller. And then he just takes the frame and just rolls on a little coat of wax to it. Because he says that it helps when the bees start to draw out, it'll help them draw out good comb, and it'll be sturdier onto the frame so that the problem we had when he came out to help me look at my beehive that day, I had a whole like chunk just fall off because it didn't have a good starting foundation on this straight plastic so if you don't have pre-waxed frames if you're using the plastic wax them josh told me it's a good idea get you a little coat of wax on there because it helps it stay stronger to the frame so that's what we're doing today i'm gonna wax as many frames as i can and then transfer the bees in that box into my new box with wax frames and then he's got, he actually, when he, in that swarm, I don't know how he did it. He's a pro. I still got way, way much, 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 much to learn. Uh, but he found the queen. He's got the queen trapped in there. Told me to wait a couple days. And so we're doing this to put the frames in the box. And then we'll release the queen in with the rest of the hive. So, so. we're waxing frames. Waxing frames? Changing a nook and releasing a queen. That's right. Okay. Sounds like what we're supposed to do. So, let's see if I can. Uh, cause I'm a cruddy, cruddy, cruddy painter. Um, so let's see if I can. Yes. Do this worth doing. Painting is one of those things I don't like, unless it's like I, a big spray gun. I don't think this is going to be that difficult. We'll see. Okay. So he said, just do it like, I guess, a paint roller. I just guess I get a, a little bit of wax on there. I just kind of turn this up to melt it, and then I turned it back down uh, to where it wouldn't, you know, just keep burning it because you can, you know, scorch beeswax. So this is beeswax that actually came out, out of our hive, which is so cool to be able to use. And so he said just kind of roll it on there, but obviously I guess I got to go faster than what I was doing because it dries pretty quick. He said it's okay if it gets in the holes a little bit. I think I need a better paint roller. He says as long as I got a coat on there. Yeah, you've got a good coat. It should work and I can kind of see that, you know, and mm -hmm. I can feel it. It's sticky. Maybe go back and forth this way now. Oh, but, it's starting to cool down. Yeah, it is. And that's my problem. All right, let's warm this stuff back up. That could be my problem too, is this roller doesn't roll. Roll either. Alright, okay, so maybe keep it on like the keep warm setting or the really low setting is what I would guess. Which mine's a hundred and fifty. I'm pretty right. sure. You missed a spot. It's sticky. So maybe if it's sticky, it's good. Alright, so I'm definitely not a professional at this. And so Josh, if you're definitely watching, tell me everything I did wrong. Or heck, anybody else that does this. 
Tell me what I did wrong. The roller is probably a better roller. I'm using some old roller I've had. It was clean. It was clean, but I mean the the roller part. I think isn't. I mean real the cheap. handle part. The handle part, yeah. Oh, it came out. Yeah. I think that's good. Figure as long as I get some wax on there, as according to what I think I understood, that's what I'm supposed to do. All right. So I've got my. Box here, Josh's box down here. So, we're going to take some frames that Josh had. They're already starting to build some, looks like over here. any building on that so I'm just gonna put this one beside it here put his other frame that way I can give his two frames back to him and we will put and there's the queen he's got in that little clip. So we'll put our frames that we've got the wax coated on there. And he told me to, I guess, keep that one frame that he had in the middle there since it's got a little bit of buildup on it already. And we'll put these beside it. Put them all close together. Alright, getting some pretty upset sounding beef. Now, like, like Josh did, when he got the swarm, he found the queen, he put her in the box, and then just set it on a ladder near the rest of the swarm that was in that tree, and all the bees will go to her because they smell her. So, all I should have to do is take her out of here. And we got so many little bees all around her. Y'all get off and go into there. Yes, I know y'all don't sound very happy. I'm trying to see if we can see her, but all the little bees can go through the clip. So we'll just open up the clip. And there, there she is. Alright. Leave all that by the entrance. Put her lid back on. sugar water back on and they'll calm down later and they'll all move from the box into where the queen is and we should be good to go I hope we'll see hopefully I didn't mess nothing up okie dokie yeah we uh, got away from the bees came inside it's a little hot outside. It, it's really hot wearing the suits. Wearing the, the suits. They during don't, the summer. They don't breathe. During a heat wave. Um, but they're all flying around, swarming. Like I said, we'll, we'll have that box there beside there. And by nighttime, they'll all kind of roll into there. And I can get Josh's stuff back to him. Josh, thanks again for helping us 
find this little swarm that you got. Uh, one thing Josh did say, um, some people actually don't like collecting swarms because sometimes they're considered swarmy, where they just kind of go in, they make a little home, and they're like, okay, we're out of here again, and then they take off, and then you're left without a queen. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Hopefully she likes it, she stays, she, she does what she needs to do from what we understand she is a virgin queen. We're, yeah, we're so guessing. We'll see. Um, because Josh had a little nook that swarm that he caught from his hives before, uh, which, was, which was right underneath this tree that the swarm was in. Well, he checked his little nook box that he had, caught that swarm, and, you know, going through it kind of quickly, he's like, hmm, I don't really see that queen. So he was thinking that maybe... That's why he was talking about, you know, hopefully this takes because he had a swarm go here and then that swarm might have just established a little bit and then they swarmed again up into that tree. Made their own split. It. So we're hoping that doesn't happen to us. We're hoping that, you know, this queen's going to stay here. She's not like, she's happy with her home she's got now, hopefully. Again, we are complete novice oh, yeah. at this. We're hoping this nuke will become established. If not, we'll try again. There are many experienced yeah. beekeepers out there. Please feel free to leave comments oh, yeah. below on anything that you think we could do better. Way better, yeah. And if you're new to beekeeping, just follow along with us. We're learning as we go, so. Oh yeah, definitely. We have a good mentor, thank goodness. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's been a great help at me because you know, I can kind of read and, and do some things and research, which does help me. It takes the really, hands on. But really having that hand, being able to have the hands on experiences with Josh and him really going through and showing me, uh, if you're out there wanting to get into beekeeping, find a mentor. Find somebody, you know, they may not be a mentor, a friend or somebody you know that'll just kind of give you a show you the ropes, really. Thanks again for coming along. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great, wonderful one, and I can't wait to see y'all till next time. Later. Take care. A real man patch. You got a hole in your pants. You definitely don't want to get stung by a bee. Duct tape works on everything. Duct tape, hammer, vice grips. It's only three things you need. Look, look how perfect that patch is. Ta-da. Sure. And, I can change the colors if I want to, do anything. <laughs>